devil's number one holiday. It's Halloween. And a lot of believers today, today, you know, they are celebrating Halloween. And, and, and the most remarkable thing that the devil taught me was, I love when they celebrate Halloween. I love when they get dressed. I love when they celebrate my holiday because they come intertwined. You come intertwined with darkness. There's Christians that are walking around that don't have no identity who they are. They don't have no identity who God has called them to be. They don't have no identity who God created them to be. They don't have no identity of who, what their purpose. Instead of us affecting the world, the world is affecting us. If you go back to the history of Halloween, human sacrifices, uh, skulls, uh, cemeteries, plots upside down, people digging out bones and skeletons, and people digging out skulls for Halloween. How are you going to celebrate these things and say you're in Christ? It, it's like me being married, and I'm sleeping with a prostitute. The whole picture of Halloween is that you honoring the devil. You bow down to the devil. The biggest witchcraft that I used to do was on Halloween, to kill, steal, and destroy Christian believers. I was preparing a week ahead of time. As a matter of fact, I was preparing two weeks ahead of time to kill you on the 31st. Halloween it is a nuisance. It is an abomination in the eyes of a holy God. So how is it that you're going to go to a Halloween party? You play with fire. You're going to burn your whole house down. And you have nothing left of you. Because the devil comes to play for keeps. I sat in the devil's mind for 25 years. His mind is full of strategies. How to entrap, engage, and kill, steal, and destroy. Through holidays, through events, through cultures. It's time to repent. It's time to make right with God. Don't play with a holy God. Don't let the entrapment and the lies and the deception that something that looks cool, that looks good, that looks harmless, send you to a place that you spend your eternity and never to return. You're separated from a place that God has predestined for you to live with Him for an eternity. Whoever celebrates Halloween is cursed. It's time to repent. It's time to turn to Jesus Christ. Amen.